everybody! Today we are going to be making spell stars. This is something that my family has been making for the past, I would probably say three or four years. It's pretty easy to do and very versatile. You can use this for a lot of different things. But mainly we use them for spell stars. So, what you're going to need is applesauce. And I like to use the unsweetened kind, so there's no um, extra stuff in it. And apples are known as fruits of the gods, so it's kind of, uh, you know, basically perfect for what we're going to be using it for. And then also ground cinnamon. And cinnamon is good for protection, power, success, and spirituality. So you take these two items and dump one of these into a bowl and mix it up with some cinnamon until you get like a dough-like consistency and then take something that is okay to cut on because we're going to be using cookie cutters or a glass whatever you know you have on hand and you take the cinnamon and sprinkle it down like you would flour if you were making like uh, dough or whatever and then you roll it out and then you take your shape whatever the shape you want to use you can use a moon um, a pumpkin. In this case we're making spell stars so we're going to be using stars and you just cut out the shape and pop it out and I have a little pentacle press that um, there's some stuff caught in here but I have a little pentacle press that you can press into cookies or whatever it is you're using and there you go you've got a little pentacle so then you take that and you put the spell star on a drying rack so that it can dry. Um, you can also use these um, to make ornaments. This is a little ornament that we made in 2006. And you can hang it on your Yule tree or give it as gifts. It's very good. And see we made little um, smiley faces in these just because we like smiley faces. Yay! <laughs> So anyway, um, last year I gave this as a Yule gift to some of my friends. I bought this little jar at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar, I think, and just filled it with spell stars. I filled it with 13 spell stars for my friends so that they can, well actually no, I think I did 26. So that they had 13 for each moon and um, like for this coming year and also uh, for the new moons as well. Now these you can use in all the four elements, you can do um, spells with them with water, air, earth, and fire. If you want to do um, a fire slash air um, spell, you can take the, the dried star and you can empower this with your intention. And let's just say that during your um, S-Bot ritual, you have a fire, like a bonfire or something, you empower it with your spell and with your intention and then you toss it into the fire. Um, you can also get the little charcoal blocks and you can break it up and put it on the charcoal block and then it will smolder and that will be air. You can also you know, put your intention and your spell into it and put it into water if you live by a lake or a river or you can also bury it. Um, you can bury it in your yard or you can bury it wherever you have the chance to bury it or in a pot of soil and then just keep watering it until it disintegrates and then you can put that outside. Um, these are great. You can use these for new moon, full moon, dark moon. Um, right now we're making them in the waning you know, part of the um, moon cycle. So I would recommend if you, um, you know, make these, pay attention to the moon cycle that you're in and so I will use these as a banishing star or you know spell star. Um, these we actually made during the full moon, which in my family's practice, when we make stuff during the full moon, we can use it well, anytime, you know, new moon, full moon, waning moon, um, or dark moon. Um, but you really have to take into account the, the energies that are going on around you when you're making this. And also, when you're mixing the applesauce and the cinnamon together, think about what you want to use this for. If you want to use it as a protective star or a protective shape, let's just say that you want to protect your car and you want to put one of these in it, then, okay, like pretend that this is the shape of a car. 
then as you're mixing it, you, you, you know, think of safety and stability and um, good mechanics and stuff like that so that when you empower this with your intention, having um, a good running car, safe travels and everything like that, then you put your intention into it through the whole process, through the mixing of the ingredients, through the rolling and the shaping. And then, um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, after you put it on either a paper towel or a drying rack, um, or you know, cookie rack, um, flip it once or twice a day so that um, they'll dry a little bit more evenly because if you just leave them on one side, even if it's got holes on it like this, the top will dry you know, faster than the bottom. So try to flip it often so that it will evenly dry. And it takes, it just depends on how humid your environment is. If you live in Florida versus Washington versus Wisconsin or something or Oklahoma or Texas or something. So just, you know, flip them until they're completely dry and you'll be able to feel it. And they're actually pretty sturdy. I mean, you know, like I said, I've had these since, you know, 2006 and they're still pretty hard. So, um, and I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post some comments or send them to me via inbox or personal message or whatever. Um, we really enjoy making these. I know one of my friends made these during Yule last year. She had a Yule party and she had a big giant bowl of this dough and, and they just rolled the stuff and made all kinds of shapes and fun stuff. and. It really is very therapeutic just to get your hands into the materials and just, oh yeah. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, um, focus your attention or your intentions. Um, if you want to use it for banishing or empowering something or protection or whatever, or just general goodwill or something, um, make sure that you think about that and um, you know put that into the dough and, and into the actions as you're doing it and then you'll get a lot more bang for your buck, so to speak, when you actually use them for your spells. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'm looking forward to seeing your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!